three functions of the QDM web. How does the supplier quality interfaces work within the QDM? There are three components of supplier quality interfaces which are primarily used. There are multiple ways uh, people have figured out ways to use with suppliers, but uh, our customers. But uh, the, the three primary topics are one, how does how do we manage supplier data? This is inspection data coming from different uh, devices. How do we manage that? Uh, uh, being offline, being in two, two different networks and being remote in two different geographic locations, how can we manage this without a streamlined approach to do that? Supplier quality document management, how do we manage documents? Because documents are an integral part of any process. Um, uh, we can't just stop at the data. There are documents that need to be integrally be a part of the, the inspection inspections uh, that need to be managed also. So that's the supplier quality document management function that we'll review today. And also a very common topic between when we talk about OEM and suppliers or suppliers and their and their suppliers, uh, there is always a, a negotiation that goes on when, when a design is submitted to them and they make the process, their process may not fit, or they might have to make process adjustments, uh, tolerance concessions need to be provided. So there is a, there's a wide range of activity that happens between an SQA, a supplier quality engineer, and the supplier's uh, contact itself. And uh, those tolerance negotiation sessions, we have a tool inbuilt within QDM that can handle that very efficiently, uh, which we, which is a, which is a huge plus with the, with the system. So we're going to talk about those three topics today. So first, let's start with uh, the data management. But before, before that, just for this three exercise, we kind of set up like a, uh, we want to emulate a situation where there is an OEM and there is a supplier making some parts and. Uh, uh, OEM is assembling them and measuring them. So we kind of created a, a, a example, a use case here with uh, the OEM being in Detroit who makes the headlamp assembly, which has got a headlamp, turn lamp, and a bracket. And uh, they they assemble that. And then they and the headlamp, turn lamp, and the bracket, the three components are coming from two suppliers. Supplier A is making, from Windsor, Canada, is making the brackets. And supplier B is making the headlamp and the turn lamp uh, just to give you the, uh, the the use case of it uh, of of the whole uh, premise for the rest of the presentation, uh, just to identify that these are three disparate locations, three locations, and uh, there are different. Uh, everything within QDM is uh, securely. The data is very secure. Uh, data security model is basically based on the user. So as uh, we kind of uh, registered three users on the system, Sam from the OEM side, Andy from supplier A, and Bob from supplier B. And you will see as we progress through the presentation, when everybody logs in, how their data is so compartmentalized that they can't see anybody else's data, which is very, very critical when you have a central system with OEMs and hundreds of suppliers, uh, the data integrity and the data uh, uh, demarcations need to be maintained. And that's, uh, that's inbuilt within QDM web, and we'll see that. Uh, as we progress through the presentation. So this is kind of the, the use case that we have set up. And with this, we'll uh, log in as Sam OEM and do some activities. Log in as Andy supplier Rishi, who is physically in, in Windsor, Canada for this presentation. Um, uh, that's where he lives. So uh, we kind of emulated that. So he's going to be Andy, the supplier, and interacting with the system. And I, from here, will be uh, uh, Sam, the OEM, and we'll also kind of in uh, do some interfaces with Bob. So, so we'll we'll do those so you get the picture of how multiple suppliers can interact with the system, uh, being remote in their own from their own location. So, with that basis, let's first start with uh, supplier uh, quality data management. So, this is about all the dimensional data, all the engineering data that's uh, part based, uh, the the features, the measurements, the tolerances, the GDNTs, and all those dimensional measurements, how do we uh, get that data and present it from the supplier uh, to the OEM or from supplier to their sub-suppliers? So just to kind of create a flow chart, because they are, they, these are two different geographical locations, we'll uh, kind of go through a flow and then we'll kind of go into the software and look at those situations. So first is the uh, measurement plan, uh, which is designed by the OEM. So OEM decides what on, on a particular component, let's say a bracket, what are the features that need to be measured? What should be the naming conventions for those points? Um, 
that's decided as a measurement roadmap and then provided to the supplier uh, via QDM web. So think of the blue line in the middle is the QDM web that's a connect that connects both both the uh, user base. And uh, uh, so now the supplier receives the measurement plan, which is the roadmap, and also a CMM point file, which is kind of an electronic format that they can take it and uh, create their measurement routines within whatever CMM that they, whatever measuring equipment that they have at their disposal it could be uh, any any tool, a scanner, a CMM, or a handheld gauge, or whatever they are. Uh, they can write the routine based on the measurement plan and the CMM point file provided by the OEM. Uh, then they use that measurement routine to measure the samples. Let's say they do a six-piece study or a 30-piece study on the parts. And uh, in its native format, whatever the software that they're using, they can upload those results. Uh, they can upload those measurement results back into uh, using QDM web to the OEM. At the OEM side, the data is validated. As the data is uploaded, because the measurement plan was provided to them via QDM, QDM can uh, validate that data against the measurement plan and make sure all the features that are requested by the from the supplier to be measured are measured and all those naming conventions are maintained so that when the data comes back in it can be directly consumed without any type of um, post processing involved so all those translation and validation happens as they upload the data and notifications are sent to uh, the the corresponding stakeholders if there is something missing uh, once the data is validated, now the OEM has the ability to go into QDM web and review that report in a graphical uh, format, not just text-based. It's a graphical report because of the templates um, with all statistics and pass-fail criteria, and they could review it and approve it. And once it's approved, they could uh, uh, send the notification via QDM web to fabricate and ship the parts, or it's approved, go ahead and uh, process the, the rest of the samples. So. Uh, we're going to kind of take, uh, uh, we're going to go back and forth between PowerPoint and software to kind of look at this first uh, uh, use case here. 